Welcome to Hardwick Hall and I'm here with my friend Ray and we're having a walk through the grounds of the estate today. I was going to walk in the Peak District, in the glorious Peak District, but the weather is due to be terrible around about midday. It's currently 11 o'clock so we're in a bit of a race against the weather. But as we're out walking today I thought I would do another review of one of the products that I've been meaning to review for a long time now and that is the Terra Nova Voyager 30 rucksack. I've had it for about six or seven months and various people have asked me my opinions on it so far so I thought I'd give you a quick rundown of why, what I use it for and just a few other little facts that I've harvested from the Terra Nova website. Right, so the Terra Nova Voyager 30. Why did I choose this bag? Well, in the last year or so I've been on a bit of a mission to lighten the load which I carry. Now both Ray and I are from the army school of backpacking where everything weighs an absolute ton so over the years as money has become available I've slowly lightened the load and this is the next step of lighting my load for summer backpacking and also to use my go-to day pack. The other bags that I've got are I've got a few caramel bags and a few Berghaus bags, but they're all quite heavy to start with. So this Terra Nova bag has been excellent. And the things that I've been using it for, I've been using it for summer backpacking, like I say. Um, I've been putting my bivy, my roll mat, my sleeping bag, my down jacket inside, and it's been perfect for the summer backpacking tricks with, with bivy bags and also with my uh, wild country tent. But I've also been using it for pretty much everything else. It's become my go-to day pack. So I'm going to quickly give you a rundown of some of the features and also some of the specifications about the bag itself. Right, so on the Terra Nova website, it lists the bag as having a minimum weight of 385 grams, which is 14 ounces. A packed weight of 604 grams, which is one pound and five ounces and I'll quickly show you now it lists the bag as having seven pockets and it it's got some very useful pockets actually the two that are on the um, waist strap are excellent then you've got the mesh pocket at the back you've got two side pockets which are both different sizes as you can see now I use the bigger pocket to put the legs of my tripod in and then the other pocket will certainly be utilized in winter for ice access and things like that. And then you've got the pocket on the top and you've also got the pocket which is on the underside of the lid. While we're on the subject of the lid, there is also another item that comes with the bag which is to remove the lid itself and it's just a blank which allows you just to cover the top of the bag. There is also a pouch for a hydration pack or a hydration bladder and on the top of the bag there is an exit for the tube and then I just run it over the top and fit it into one of the straps which is on the main strap. The size itself is 30 litres but if you are interested in something larger than this I've been looking at a bigger pack myself for my uh, longer trips there is a 45 and a 55 litre pack available. The material is high tenacity ripstop nylon GS65. It's reinforced with Dyneema matrix fabric at the strategic wear points and in the back of the bag there is a removable 8mm foam pad which I personally haven't taken out because it makes the bag quite comfortable. So some of the features that it's got. You've got reinforced crampon attachment points, an extendable main compartment with double cord closure, You've got the front mesh pocket, which has been excellent just to cram the waterproofs in or keep a um, rain cover in, but I also use it just to put my maps in as well, or maybe a little bit of food. There is multiple gear attachment points for roll mats, walking poles and axes. As I mentioned earlier, there was different sized side pockets with thick 4mm colour-coded closures, reinforcements and drain holes. The belt pockets that I mentioned earlier on are removable and they've both got 
waterproof zips and colour coded zip pullers. You've got a shoulder strap load adjustment. You've got two straight and two 45 degree side compression points. Fully adjustable chest strap with high vis whistle. Double water bottle attachment points on the shoulder straps. And you've actually got a double hydration tube entry point on the main pack, one at either side. Right, so I've been very happy with the bag. And if I'm quite honest, I really can't fault it. And as I say, it's been my go-to day pack for many things. I'm out with it today just for a general walk. I've got my down jacket in there, um, my hydration bladder, a few snacks, the map, and my hat and gloves. My coat is hanging on the tripod stand. So the bag on the Terranova website, I've just checked, is RRP, it's 120 pounds. But as I say, there is also the 45 and the 55 litre versions, which would also be excellent for longer backpacking trips. As I said earlier, this is one that I've been using for just overnight as really, because although I can fit my tent in there, my foam mattress as well, it's just been perfect for those get up and go bivvy trips. So I could leave this packed underneath the stairs or in the boot of the car and just be ready to go as and when the weather is perfect. Right, so I hope the, the uh, quick review has been useful. It's just basically a quick look at the bag itself. And as I say, I really can't fault it. There are so many different attachment points and even to this day, I don't think I've discovered them all. Um, it's very versatile, very hard wearing. To say the fabric itself on this side here is quite soft and it feels quite thin, it's been extremely hard wearing. And then you've got the, the uh, tougher fabric at the top there. But it's been excellent. Comfortable to carry, reasonable price, and basically it serves the purpose of what I wanted to serve. It lightens the load that I'm going to carry. Okay. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.